Warning. Food detected. Warning. Food detected. Initiating eating sequence. <laughs> hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and in this video I want to talk to you about Qcoin announcements. More specifically, Qcoin new coin listing announcements and now this is the tongue twister of the week. If you haven't been following this channel along, this is a great time to do so, so make sure to hit that like, subscribe button and that notification bell really helps me out. Thank you. If you have been following this channel, you'll know that I've been working on a crypto trading algorithm that aims to take advantage of new coin listings on Binance. To be more precise, it actually listens to the announcement itself once it's made and buys the coin externally on another exchange called Gate.io. That is due to the fact that announcement spikes tend to be higher and actually more exploitable than listing spikes. So in this video, we're going to integrate Qcoin announcements into the current trading algorithm. And I'm also going to explain to you why I'm so excited about the Qcoin announcements and why I think they are actually a good strategy to potentially exploit new coin listings, buying them externally by listening to the Qcoin announcements. Massive thank you to Discord user BusyUQBoy who's done a lot of research into Qcoin announcements and came up with some pretty incredible data that I'm hoping to share with you today. Now let's jump into it. Okay, now let's go through why trading Qcoin new coin listing announcements is a potentially really good strategy. So what I have here is the chart for uh, Kin at the moment of the announcement having been made on Qcoin. Uh, Busy UQ boy was kind enough to provide that and to allow me to use it in this video. So what we have here is one minute candles on Kin with the announcement made at 50047. Now this has been tested on two AWS instances, one of them located in Bahrain and another one in North Virginia. Now we can see that the one in Bahrain was a little bit quicker in this instance. It took the algorithm 7.6 seconds to detect the new announcement and place a purchase, whereas the North Virginia server took about 8.5 seconds. Though regardless of that, you can see that it pretty much went bang on on the spike and technically you could have been riding the increase up until now. This is just one example, let's move to the next one. The next test was with SRM again on one minute candles. You can see the announcement was made at 4.04.41 and it took the Bahrain hosted version of the algorithm 7.2 seconds to execute and the North Virginia one about 4.8 seconds. So you can see it tends to be a little random, I'm not finding a great sort of understanding of what location seems to be best. Um, but again, regardless of the location, in this circumstance, you would have still made a pretty good profit on that. Further motivation for me to start implementing that. Let's move to the last chart. And the last test was concluded with Paul C on one minute candles. The announcement was made at 50137. In Bahrain, the algorithm performed in 55.6 seconds and in North Virginia, 55.7 very very close, kind of strange that it took the algorithm over 55 seconds to detect the announcement, but as with previous tests, you would have still been in profit at that time had you bought this new coin the moment it was announced for listing on Qcoin. Right, so that concludes our test base and you can see a consistent profit, which is really good news. Now all we need to do is actually add this algorithm into our bot. So I'm gonna go with you um, through how we're able to listen to announcements and then how to add this into our algorithm. I won't go into too much detail into the algorithm itself, but I will explain how to step-by-step -step scrape the Qcoin page for new coin announcements without having to use something like Beautiful Soup. Okay, so the next step is to actually be able to get the new Qcoin announcements into our bot in order to be able to trade them. Now there are two ways we can go about it. One of them is to actually go and use a web scraper like Beautiful Soup, for example, available in Python, in order to scrape the content of this page and pull the correct symbol that we need to trade. Now that's a bit clunky and it's also a little bit resource intensive. You need to run a headless browser and we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do instead, we're going to navigate through the networking tab and try and find the API endpoint that is populating this page. 
So we start by going to the listings tab and then we open the inspect element in our browser. You can use Chrome, you can use any other browser to do that. The next step is to navigate from latest into token listings since this is the kind of info that we're interested in. We want to see token listings. So now you see as I click to token listings, there's a lot of stuff populating on the left hand side. Now what we need to do is just we need to scroll through them and find the actual package that we need. So we start with the first one. Uh, we're looking at the headers or at the response in this case. There's nothing here, therefore we don't need this. Keep scrolling through. That's no good. And this is what we need. If you have a look, you will see that the title says Gold Fever gets listed on Qcoin. Gold Fever gets listed on Qcoin. So this is the first step. Now we have this. All we need to do is get the actual URL that populates this so we can call this unofficial endpoint ourselves in our Python script. So you see the request URL. So all we need to do is copy this, paste it down into our script. Cool, so now we have to make sure that this API endpoint works. So what I did here is I added the URL that we just discovered. Um, I'm querying the response using the requests library and then I'm pulling the response.json. I looked a little bit into the code and it seems that the latest announcement sits under items zero title. So technically, if we run this code, we should see the latest Qcoin announcement that we just saw a minute ago. So let's give this a shot. And sure enough, Gold Fever NGL gets listed on Qcoin. That is the kind of response that we're looking for, which means that this is safe to be added into our existing algorithm. And once I had the new announcement, that was pretty much it. From then on, it was kind of easy to integrate it into the current algorithm as they share a lot of similarities between Qcoin and Binance announcements and how they work in the back end. I won't go into a whole lot of detail into that, but if you're interested in finding out more about this algorithm or even trying it out yourself, I will leave the GitHub links down in the description below along with a step-by-step -step guide on how to get it set up. The algorithm comes with a test mode, so I would really encourage you to try that at first and please don't YOLO your life savings into it. That is key. Again, I would like to thank everyone who's been supporting this project either by becoming a premium Discord member or by contributing to the codebase on GitHub. Thank you guys, you really make this possible and I'm really grateful for that. Um, if you want to join our Discord and talk algo trading, please feel free to check the links down below. If you like this video, click like. If you want to find out more about future projects, please click subscribe and enable that notification bell. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Ah, you're still here. Well, I wasn't gonna say anything, but seeing as you're still watching this video, I'm working on a crypto trading algorithm with a bunch of really cool developers to make it as simple as possible to use. Um, it's gonna be proprietary code, but it will come with a visual graphic interface and all the nice to haves. Well, seeing as you're still here, why don't you go and join the Discord? Learn more. Register for the open beta. See ya. Well, it looks like I'm either unable or unwilling to stop this video. So while we're here, why don't you tell me about what kind of bot you'd like to see built? Maybe I'll build one. Or just talk to me about your experience with algo trading. We have 10 seconds. Nice. Nice.